Hello and Assalamu alaikum. This tutorial is on how to make darka dal using moong and masoor dal. This is a really simple, quick and easy dish to make. I will start off with showing you the ingredients you need to make this dish. There's two processes to making the darka dal. There is the boiling process and the darka process. Both really simple and easy. So for the boiling process you need one cup of masoor dal. You also need half a cup of yellow moong dal and both dals need to be rinsed with water and washed. So this is the packet of the moong dal and this is the packet of the masoor dal which is called, also called the red lentils and this is the orange and yellow dals. And you also need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chilli powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of turmeric and one chicken cube one small sliced onion and for the dalga you need about eight to nine cloves of garlic a quarter cup of olive oil and just less than half a block of butter you also need a small bunch of coriander three to four green chilies and one teaspoon of cumin seeds also for the boiling process you need about four to five cups of water So take a wide pot and a deep pot and put your mung and masoor dal into your pot and just make sure that it is rinsed well and into this you need to add in your water about four to five cups and you also need to add in your onion and the spices which was the coriander powder, chilli powder, turmeric powder, the salt and the chicken cube. So add all of these into your pot and mix it up. So once you've mixed everything together you need to let your dal boil for about 20 to 25 minutes and here you can see that I've been boiling it for about two minutes and you can see that it's already starting to bubble up on the sides of the pot. So you need to carry on boiling this for about 15 to 25 minutes and here you can see that it's now come to the boil and normally what happens is the dal will boil over the pot and this is just a small tip for you that when you're boiling your dal place your wooden spoon over the top of the pot across the top and what you'll find is that it won't boil over and you can carry on boiling this on a medium to high flame so that's just a small tip for you and you can use this tip for when you're boiling pasta, boiling rice and it normally works for me fine. While your dal is boiling away you can get ready for the next stage and crush your garlic. So using my pestle and mortar I'm just going to add my garlic to it and crush it until it's a paste. So after crushing the garlic for about one minute, you can see that it's now turned to a paste. So I can set that aside now for the darga stage. And I just wanted to come back to the wooden spoon tip. And you can see here that the water hasn't boiled over and that the wooden spoon has prevented it from boiling over. So this is a great tip that I learned. And I'm just passing that over to you guys. So here I've now been boiling my um, dal for about 25 minutes. And you can see here that the water has reduced and it has thickened up but you can also see that the dal is still separate it's not mushed together and that's how you want it so this is now the perfect consistency I'm now going to turn down the heat to low and I'm gonna let this simmer away while I start making the dirga for the dal so just take a small frying pan and in the frying pan add the oil and your butter and the oil helps stop your butter from burning so it's good to use it with the butter because we'll be cooking this on a high flame so the butter can burn really quickly without the oil so now my butter has melted I'm now adding in the crushed garlic I'm going to mix this into the butter and fry this on high flame for about 30 to 40 seconds the dirga process is really quick it doesn't take very long at all and you need to ensure that you don't over fry your garlic because it will turn bitter in taste and which will then lead to your dal being ruined in taste also. 
So once that's now been frying for about 30 to 40 seconds, I am now going to add in the cumin seeds and the green chilies and carry on frying this on a high flame for about another 30 to 40 seconds. And while that's carrying on frying, I'm now turning up the heat on my dal, which is simmering away in the other pot. And once that's fried, you just take your frying pan and I'm going to tip it straight into my dal in my pot. And that is the tarka stage done. That's all it is. It's really quick, easy and simple to do. So I'm just stirring the tarka into the dal. And for me, this is the perfect consistency now. I don't like mine too thick and I also don't like it too, too runny. So this is just right. It's in the middle for me. Um, it's entirely up to you. You can carry on reducing your dal if you want it to be thicker or you can add another sort of half glass of water if you want it runnier. But this is the perfect consistency for me. I'm just going to let this simmer away now for about three to four minutes on a low heat. So here you can see that the dal has been simmering away for about two to three minutes after I added the darga to it. And you can see that it's still of a dripping consistency. It's not too thick and it's not too runny. It's just right. And you can also see that the grains of the lentils are still quite separate. So this dal is now ready and I've turned it off the heat. And I'm just adding in some finely chopped coriander and I will stir that in. Now at this stage you can add in a finely chopped green chilli if you like for the extra heat. Um, but that's completely optional. I find that this dal is served great with boiled rice, you can eat it with a chapati, you can eat it with brati, and I even like eating this dal out of a bowl with a spoon like a soup and it's great for the winter and great for kids too. Again, thanks for watching and I hope that you find my tutorial useful. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel for all my latest videos and you can also like my Facebook page Mazadar where you will find all my latest tips recipes and step-by-step -step photos for further tutorials. Again, thanks for watching.